Hello friends, welcome back to Engineering Made Easy. This is Lalit Vasist. Today in this topic we will discuss the single sideband suppressed carrier. It is known as SSBSC in short. Single sideband suppressed carrier modulation. It is a technique of amplitude modulation. In the last lecture we discussed the double sideband suppressed carrier DSBSC. But here we are going to discuss the SSBSC. If you have not uh, any idea about amplitude modulation and DSBSC that we have discussed, you can watch my videos. So let's see what we are going to discuss in this video SSBSC modulation. Here we will discuss some basic concepts of SSBSC, what we mean by SSBSC. We will derive the wave equation, the derivation of SSBSC. Okay. And also the spectrum of modulating signal DSBSC and SSBSC, which is our current uh, topic of discussion. We will take two examples. First was this one, and the another one is this. Okay. These are the mathematical derivations of the SSBSC wave equation. So let's uh, discuss some basic properties and the basics of SSBSC modulation. So let's understand what is SSBSC modulation. You should know the basics of uh, amplitude modulation before understanding this. So in amplitude modulation, the amplitude of the carrier wave is uh, varied according to the instantaneous value of the modulating signal. Okay, this modulating signal is the signal that we want to transmit. That is a message signal. In the conventional amplitude modulated wave, we have two sidebands and the one carrier wave. Okay, while in the DSBSC that we discussed earlier in the last lecture, it carried only two sidebands and we suppressed the carrier. That is the carrier is not transmitted. Only two sidebands are transmitted. But here we are going to discuss the another technique of uh, SSBSC. It is technique of amplitude modulation. So here, as the name suggests, it is a single sideband suppressed carrier. It means it transmits only single sideband and the carrier and another sideband is suppressed. As in uh, conventional amplitude modulation, we transmitted two sidebands and the carrier so here only one side band is transmitted the benefit of doing this is we explained in uh, dsbsc also that uh, the carrier wave the carrier wave that we have has no information all the information is contained in the side bands so there is no need to transmit the carrier the one uh, one disadvantage of uh, transmitting carrier is it wastes lots of power in transmitting actually 67% uh, of uh, total power is wasted in transmitting the carrier and only 33% power is used to transmit the sidebands. So why we are transmitting only one sideband? Actually in a previous uh, lecture I told you that uh, we transmitted two sidebands that carries information but I also uh, discussed that uh, there is no need to even to transmit two sidebands. Only if we transmit one sideband, then it will contain the whole information because the complete information is contained by the first sideband and the second sideband. That is, they contain the information completely separately. Okay, so only one sideband can carry the whole information without any loss. So, further power is saved while uh, suppressing the one more sideband. So, only one sideband is transmitted because of. Uh, to increase the power efficiency okay so let's uh, see uh, the basics actually i have told you whatever is written here already uh, but uh, let's uh, see them point wise in ssbsc modulation only one sideband is transmitted it means that the carrier wave and one sideband is suppressed okay we have seen this so ssb contains only one sideband no information is contained by the carrier signal so it is suppressed why we suppress it because there is no use actually the whole information is contained by the sideband so why should we uh, transmit the carrier 
द अपर साइड बैंड एंड लोअर साइड बैंड द टू साइड बैंड आर नॉन एज अपर साइड बैंड हैविंग हाई फ्रीक्वेंसी ओमेगा सी प्लस ओमेगा एम एंड ओमेगा सी माइनस ओमेगा एम फ्रीक्वेंसी इज कॉल्ड एज अ लोअर साइड बैंड ओके टू साइड बैंड नेम्ड एज यू एस बी एल एस बी दे आर यूनिक रिलेटेड टू ईच अदर by their symmetry about the carrier frequency this is the reason why uh, it is enough to transmit only one side band because these two side bands are symmetrical about the carrier frequency so if the amplitude and phase spectra of any of the side band is given then we can uniquely find the other so need no need to transmit both of these uh, uh, side bands we can save power by transmitting only one side band okay so this is the concept the basic concept of uh, uh, single side band suppressed carrier uh, so there is power saving and uh, also the bandwidth is saved because in uh, conventional am and dsbsc we have seen that the bandwidth occupied is two times the maximum frequency present in the modulating signal 2 omega m okay this is the bandwidth for the conventional am and dsb ac because half of the bandwidth is occupied by one side band and another half by the another side band okay so if i transmit only one side band then the bandwidth will required will be small so it is reduced to half only one uh, side band is transmitted so its uh, bandwidth required is uh, only omega m it is half of the uh, bandwidth requirement for the dsbsc and the conventional am so this is another advantage power saving and also the bandwidth saving okay friends now we will see the derivation of ssbsc wave equation we will see how we can derive this i will show you the diagram the uh, frequency spectrum and will tell you how we can derive the expression for ssbsc wave equation so let's consider a modulating signal uh, the message signal as xt equals to cos of omega m t this is the modulating signal that we want to transmit and we know that uh, the fourier transform of uh, cos of omega m t is pi delta omega minus omega m plus delta omega plus omega m this is the fourier transform of cos omega mt so you can see that it contains uh, two shifted impulse signals at omega m and minus omega m having uh, pi as the amplitude okay let me show you in the uh, this in the diagram here the xt signal cos of omega mt is uh, fourier transform has been shown here you see it is an, an impulse signal omega m and minus omega m shifted at omega m and minus omega m spectrum of modulating signal message signal now you see that it has two impulses at omega m and minus omega m and i want to find the equation of ssbsc single side band suppressed carrier i have shown here three spectrums this is for the double side band SSC double side band suppressed carrier. Okay, two side bands. This part is a negative frequency. Okay, this is a negative frequency. You consider at present uh, these two sides. Okay, the this uh, positive side because uh, negative frequency is not uh, practically possible. So you see this part only. So in DSBSC that we have earlier discussed, it has uh, two side bands. And in LS uh, in uh, SSBSC single side band suppressed carrier. we have one side band you see here we have two cases for ssb okay single side band uh, we have two cases the lower side band and upper side band the case where in single side band we transmit actually in single side band we transmit only one side band so it may be the lower side band or the upper side band so this is the case of lower side band we are transmitting this focus on this positive frequency part okay on the positive x axis positive frequencies so one uh, side band having lower frequency so it is lsb and transmission of upper side band only one side band okay so it is upper side band ssb sc you see it is lower side band why it is lower it is omega c minus omega m okay omega m frequency less than the carrier frequency and this is Uh, omega c plus omega m omega m frequency more than the carrier frequency okay so this is the case now 
I, I know that uh, this is the Fourier transform having two impulses at omega m and minus omega m for the modulating signal if the modulating signal is uh, cos of omega m t. Okay, so if I want to write the equation for this, this is the SSBSC. I want the expression for this one and this one. Okay, so from the symmetry, you can see that uh, the, it has it is very much similar to this one. It has two impulses at omega m and minus omega m. Okay, and it has uh, two impulses at omega c minus omega m and minus of omega c minus omega m. This is this part is positive omega c minus omega m. Okay. And uh, since this is negative of this frequency, so omega c minus omega m and this is minus of omega c minus omega m just identical to this one. So if it is the equation of uh, cos of omega m t, then the equation for the lower side bend case would be cos of omega c minus omega m t. What we have done because the shape of these two signals is just same. Only the thing is that at the place of omega c or at the place of this omega m, I have omega c minus omega m. Okay. If I replace this omega m by omega c minus omega m, it will, since it is the equation of cos of omega m t, then this, then this would be the equation of cos of omega c minus omega m. Very, uh, very easy. Okay. I think it's easy to understand and the, in the same way by symmetry uh, you can understand that the equation for this one since this is just again two impulses okay so here it is omega m minus omega m since this is equation of cos omega m t then the equation for this expression would be cos of omega c plus omega m this is what this is just the negative of this one if you take minus common it is minus of omega c plus omega m omega c plus omega m and minus of omega c plus omega m same as this one just the impulses are shifted to another place so its equation would be cos of omega c plus omega m so we have the equations uh, for both uh, upper side lower side bend and upper side bend this is for cos of omega c minus omega m t is the equation for uh, the lower side bend and uh, similarly the expression for SSBSC for upper side bend would be cos of omega c plus omega m t cos of omega c plus omega m t okay now this uh, we have got for SSB upper uh, lower side bend and SSB upper side bend you can uh, change this expression it is the basic trigonometric formula cos of uh, a minus b and this is cos of a plus b so let's uh, expand this it is equals to cos of omega mt just solve this cos of omega mt cos omega ct plus sin omega mt sin omega ct cos of a minus b and in the same way the equation for this one is cos of a plus b is equal to cos of omega mt cos omega ct minus sin omega mt sin omega ct okay so i have equations for both of these now I can also combine these two equations of upper side bend and lower side bend okay in uh, one form okay this is the combination of these two equations equation number one and two uh, you see here if I combine these the difference is only of plus and minus so observe how I can combine cos of omega mt cos omega ct this part is same cos of omega mt cos omega ct so I have written it as it is okay now the second part is sine omega mt sine omega ct it is also sine omega mt sine omega ct so it is same but the difference is only of plus and minus so, so in the general expression by combining both of these i have written it as plus minus so it contains both of these equations having plus and minus okay so also observe here that the plus sign was for the lower side bend and the negative sign was for the upper side bend okay now this is the ssb equation you keep this in mind learn this i want to find a more general formula for ssb wave equation now see carefully this is our equation of ssb sc okay single side bend suppressed carrier i want to change it 
okay i want to write in write it in another way so for this uh, consider this xt is cos of omega mt we know this is our modulating signal xt which is cos of omega mt and if i phase shift this uh, cos of omega mt by minus pi by 2 so it will be written as cos of omega mt minus pi by 2 so i have phase shifted this modulating signal xt by minus pi by 2 and this cos of theta minus pi by 2 okay theta is here is omega mt can be written as sine of omega mt cos of omega mt minus pi by 2 is nothing but sine of omega mt okay so what why we are doing this actually uh, you see there is one concept here that if i phase shift every component present in any signal uh, xt let's say our signal here is xt by minus pi by 2 then i will get another signal known as xht xht and that signal xht by phase shifting this xt by minus pi by 2 will be known as xht and this xht is called the hilbert transform of that function hilbert transform of xt so what does this mean what is hilbert transform this notation is for h is for hilbert if in any signal uh, let's say the signal name is xt i change i phase shift every frequency component that is present in that signal by minus pi by 2 then i will get another signal known as the hilbert transform of that signal since i have changed the frequency component present in this by minus pi by 2 in this xt signal then i can write this signal as xht the xt will change into the hilbert transform of xt which is known as x uh, which is denoted as xht so i can uh, change this equation as at the place of cos omega mt i can write xt cos omega mt is what cos omega mt is xt and at the place of sine omega mt i can write xht because xht is what it is cos of omega mt minus pi by 2 and cos of omega mt minus pi by 2 is nothing but sine of omega mt so at the place of sine omega mt i can write xht at this place and at the place of cos of omega mt i can write okay at the place of cos omega mt i can write x t okay this expression so no change no much change just the way of expressing the wave equation you see here that uh, cos omega mt has been replaced by xt and this cos omega ct part is same and, uh, is the same and plus minus same and at the place of sin omega mt i have written xht at the place of sin omega mt i have written xht and this part sin of uh, omega ct is same you see sin of omega ct part is same so this is uh, this is another expression for the uh, single sideband suppressed carrier in the form of uh, a signal and its Hilbert transform. It is also very common format, so I have discussed it. Uh, if you don't know what is Hilbert transform, or uh, you can say if you want to know more about Hilbert transform, I have separate video for uh, explaining the Hilbert transform. You can watch this on my channel engineering made easy and uh, let me show you one more uh, frequency spectrum that I have. Uh, with me this is again for explaining with the different example in that uh, previous case uh, i took uh, two impulse signals kind of uh, modulating signal cos omega mt now this is a random another signal having this modulating uh, this is modulating signals spectrum and for dsbsc spectrum these are the two side bands actually so at omega c is the mid frequency and omega c minus omega m omega c plus omega m two side bands so it is the case for dsbsc spectrum here the ssbsc spectrum for when we are transmitting the upper side band only omega c plus omega m part this part only and uh, this is the again the case of ssb uh, the single side band suppressed carrier case when we are transmitting the lower side band omega c minus omega m frequency this part
okay this is dsb so it is transmitting two side bands here it is transmitting only upper side band and here it is transmitting lower side band okay so this was all about the single side band suppressed carriers basics it's a frequency spectrum and derivation of uh, ssb's wave equation in two forms in the hilbert using hilbert transform in general format and in the uh, in another format also you have seen this so if you found it useful please click on the like button and uh, share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe my channel engineering made easy for getting the notification of uh, the videos whenever I release my videos so in the next videos we will see more uh, basics uh, about other formats of uh, amplitude modulation like vestigial sideband and also how we can generate these single sideband so keep watching engineering made easy and please subscribe the channel for getting the notifications of my next videos and if you have any queries please uh, you can write it in your comments I will answer you so thank you for watching bye bye friends for more such videos you can subscribe my channel engineering made easy and please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it for more detailed information you can visit my blog see you soon in the next video till then bye bye